Good. Okay. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good Wednesday morning. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we are working on getting the music, which I'm super excited about. Um, it does take more equipment. We already have all of our devices maxed out. But there is a um, web camera that we can get uh, that will allow us to be able to use music. The only problem is we can't get the web camera because everybody else wants the web camera too. So we've been trying to find a web camera because everybody's doing Zoom, right? So um, anyway, that's the update on the music, but we're trying to find one and hopefully we'll get that soon. So I'm excited to. Um, incorporate music into our practice again. So I picked up this super cool little daily inspirational book at Hobby Lobby, and it's called You'll Get Through This, and it's by Max Lucado. I don't know if you guys know who Max Lucado is, but he's awesome. And um, we've read books of his for years. Anyway, I'm reading out of here today, some really great stuff. So if you want to go ahead and line your back, you can line your back, or if you want to stay seated, stay seated. So again, it's called You'll Get Through This. And what, um, what I'm sharing with you guys today is about how God gets us through difficult times. And it even says on the front, hope and help for turbulent times. So it says through is a favorite word of God. Through, T H R O U G H. Through is a favorite word of God. When you pass through the waters, it says in Isaiah 43, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. That's Isaiah 43, 2. So God gets us through many difficult things. And we have lots of great examples of that today out of this cool little book. So with that, um, if you haven't already, go ahead and line your back. And we will start with our breath. Breathing big, deep breaths in through your nose, releasing those big, deep breaths out with your exhale through your mouth. Just absorbing this wonderful time, soaking up this wonderful time to just be in the presence of God, to just breathe. To just really let go. These are golden moments that we take during our yoga practice where we can just really be with him, be still, know that he is God, feel his presence. And use your breath here to help you just focus on all of that. Use your breath to draw you in. Use your breath to enjoy this moment. Just feeling those wonderful inhales, those beautiful exhales where we release any worries, any concerns. Let's take two more deep breaths. Very nice. With your next breath in, reach back with your right arm only. Just your right arm reaches back. Point your right toes. So focusing on this right side of the body. Let the left side stay exactly where it is. Just keep it relaxed and really stretch out the entire right side. So reaching back, pointing your toes. Great job. With the exhale, float your right arm to your side and let your right arm and leg relax. And then we'll take the left arm back. 
So same thing, left side. Big stretch. Left fingertips reaching all the way back, all the way down to your left toes. Really stretching back long. Totally ignoring that right side. All right, let's release. Float your left arm to your side. Let your left leg relax. And then now we'll do both arms back. Both arms reaching all the way back. So now you're engaging both legs, pointing toes on both feet, really stretching back, really lengthening the spine. And exhale, bring your knees into your chest and squeeze it in nice and tight. All right, very nice. We'll just gently rock a little bit here. Left and right. You can leave your hands on your lower legs or you can take your arms out to the sides. Just gently move here as you breathe. Draw the belly down. We'll take a few more. Way to go, you guys. Way to get to your mat today. Do something great for your temple and take care of yourself. Let's bring it back into center. Your right foot or ankle comes to your left leg. We're going to interlace fingers behind the left leg and draw that left leg in. Take that left leg nice and high. Press your left heel up. Draw your left toes down. And then we're going to bend the knee. And just let your left foot flop. And we'll do that two more times. Press it up. Send your left heel up. Draw your left toes down. And release and bend your knee. And just let your left foot flop down. Let's do it one more time. Really press it up. Draw that left leg in. Draw the toes down. You can always use that right elbow to send your right leg away. And bend that knee and let your left foot flop. All right, nice job. So now your right leg, you're going to release your hands, and your right leg is going to come to the left. So just slide it over so that your legs are crossed, just like you're sitting with your legs crossed. Your knees are aligned with each other. Maybe if they're not, that's okay. Take the tops of your feet and draw those in towards your body. Okay, so keep your shoulders squared off. Keep your neck nice and long. Really draw those legs in. Of course, you don't want to feel anything that doesn't feel right here. If you do, just go ahead and back off. Release a little until it feels okay for you. So let's take one more breath here. All right, very nice. We're gonna release, we're gonna take the legs all the way out with a big wide-legged stretch. Gently press in anywhere you want on your legs, anywhere but your knees, your lower legs, your upper legs. Just gently press in. Take a big breath in. And with your exhale, bring the legs together and bend your knees so we're going to take your left foot or ankle to your right leg interlace your fingers behind your right leg draw that right leg in again you can always use your left elbow to send your left leg away we're going to raise that right leg that right foot comes high drawing the right toes down drawing the right leg in even more and then bend your knee and just let that foot flop down we'll do it two more times take it up Press the heel up, draw the toes down, get that nice stretch, draw that right leg in, and then release, bend the knee. Just let that foot flop. We'll do it one more time, press it up strong. Really push that heel up, like you're trying to push it up to the ceiling. Draw the toes down, draw the right leg in, and release, bend the knee, and let your right foot drop. Great job. Okay, so release the hands and take this right foot over to the, sorry, left foot over to the right. So just slide it over. Okay, try to get your knees as close together as you can so that they're lined up. Take the tops of your feet in your hands, draw those feet into your body. Again, just check your shoulders, check your neck. Get that nice stretch there, really draw those feet in. And we'll take a couple of breaths. And again, if you feel anything that doesn't feel right here, just release a little. Go back to where you were. We'll take one more breath. And release. 
All right, great job, you guys. Release those legs, take them all the way up to these big wide-legged stretch. Press in again anywhere that works, lower legs, upper legs. Get that nice stretch there, take a big breath in. And with your exhale, bring the legs together and drop your knees into your chest. All right, really nice, you guys. Bring your feet to your mat. Walk your feet to the edges of your mat. Arms are out. Knees go to the left. Look out to the right. So doing great. We'll take one more breath here. And then we'll switch. Knees over to the right. Head over to the left. Always breathing. We'll take one more breath here. Let's bring it back in the center. We'll do that again. So knees to the left, head to the right. Your option this time is your left foot on that right upper leg. So between your knee and your hip. That nice stretch there on that right side. Isn't that really nice IT band stretch? That IT band is on the side of the leg and the hip. A lot of us have issues with our IT bands as we get older. They become less supple. So this is a great way to stretch that out. So nice job. Let's release and we'll go the other way. Knees to the right, head to the left. Again, you can take that right foot or ankle to your upper left leg, anywhere between the knee and the hip. Nice stretch down that left side of the left leg. All right, let's take another breath or two here. And stretching out that IT band. They say it becomes like bacon, it gets all crumpled. So nice stretches like this lengthen that muscle out. All right, way to go. Let's release. All right, walk those feet back in. Draw your knees into your chest. Squeeze them in tight. Let's bring the head up to the knees. So look towards your knees or towards your feet. Hold here for a breath. Really squeeze it in nice and tight. Very nice. Bring your head back to your mat. We're going to roll forward. Let's go three times today. So roll forward and back three times and then come out up to seated. Bring that lovely roll in your spine. Third time, come all the way up. Great job. Sit tall. Hello, furry friends have joined us. All right, so legs are in diamond. We're going to take a big breath up here. Bring your hands together in prayer. Drop it down to your heart with your exhale. And we'll do that one more time. Big breath up. Lengthen that spine up. Hands together in prayer, drop it down to your heart center with your exhale. Very nice job. So we're going to come down with a nice rounded back in your diamond shaped legs here. You can use your elbows to press into your legs if you want. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. All right, really nice, bring it up. Walk your hands back. So you're gonna lean all the way back, come into your chest opener, lift your heart space, lift that chest. Breathe into your chest. Big breaths, let's take three big breaths here. Last breath. All right, way to go, everybody. Walk it forward, and we'll come forward again. Just take your hands to your feet or your lower legs, and we'll get that nice rounded back. Bring the body down, look down. We'll take one breath here. And then we're gonna move back to that chest opener. And here again, we're gonna take one big breath. So come into your chest opener, leaning back, lifting your heart space, Nice big breath in. 
and release. All right, let's do that one more time. Take it forward, round your back, drop your head, use that nice diamond shaped stretch here. Take one big breath. And walk it back. And our last breath here in your chest opener. Really widen that chest. Open up that chest. Big breath here. And let it go. Great job. Come back into center. Let's cross our legs. Hands on your knees. Nice big circles with your shoulders. This always feels good. Just really taking your time, working into their shoulders, breathing in as you draw your shoulders up towards your ears, and then exhaling as you drop your shoulders down. And if you want to, when you drop the shoulders down, you can really squeeze their shoulder blades together in the back. Let's take one more. And gently reverse when you're ready. Close your eyes, you're gonna just really focus on your shoulders. Make sure you're not slumping here. Make sure your spine is nice and tall. Wonderful job, friends. Let's take one more. All right, very nice. Slide your hand out to the side. Take the opposite arm over. A nice long stretch. Keep this hip down. Both hips down. Really lengthening, lifting up under the arm. And then think about your bottom shoulder. Drop it down. Drop that shoulder down away from your ear. And we'll go the other way. So slide that opposite hand out. Opposite arm comes over. Nice big long stretch. Look up. Keep your hips down. And again, think about your lower shoulder. Drop that lower shoulder. You can bend the elbow, that's fine. Just get that lower shoulder away from your ear. All right, great job. Let's do that one more time. Slide the hand out, stretch that long stretch all the way over, look up. Drop the lower shoulder, we'll take a breath here. And let's go the other way. Slide it out, reach it over, look up, drop that lower shoulder. Take a breath here. All right, there you go, you guys. Bring it back into center. And sitting nice and tall. So switch your legs so the opposite foot is in front. And interlace your fingers behind your back. Take your hands away from the ground. So we're going to bring the chin up and look up. Bringing the hands away from the ground, squeezing shoulder blades together, but keep your shoulders dropped. Again, you don't want the shoulders up by the ears. Take a breath here. And release. Sweep the arms all the way forward. Interlace your fingers. Round the arms, round your back. Drop your chin. Chin towards chest. Look down. All right, let's release. We're going to take it all the way back. So sweep those arms back. Interlace fingers. And we'll go through that shoulder stretch again. So take the hands away from the ground. Drop the shoulders down. Bring your chin up as you look up. And we'll release. Sweep the arms forward. Interlace fingers. Rounded arms. Rounded back. Drop your chin, look down. And then let's do it one more time. Sweep it all the way back. Interlace fingers. Take those hands away from the ground. Bring your chin up. Drop your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really nice, you guys. Release. Sweep it forward. Last time, interlace fingers. Rounded arms. Rounded back. Chin to chest, look down. And 
All right, release. Way to go, you guys. Come on to your knees. Find your tabletop. Take a quick look. Make sure your wrists are below your shoulders and your knees are below your hips. Your toes are right behind your knees. All right, so draw your belly up nice and strong. And then take an exhale and just take your hands all the way out for your puppy pose. So your hips are over your knees. Take your hands to your mat. Puppy pose, reach it out. One big breath here. And let it go. Now take your right arm under your left. Nice little twist in your upper back. Right side of your head or face to your mat. Take a breath here. Just lean into that right side. All right, let's switch. Right arm up, left arm under. Nice little twist in that upper back, left side of your head or face to your mat. Just lean in here. Take a breath. Let it go. Back into your puppy pose. Head on the mat. Let's take one more big breath here. And let it go. All right, very nice. Come back into your tabletop. So we're gonna go into our cow. Bring your head up, tilt your pelvis out. Come back into your tabletop, find your cat. Exhale round, press your hands into your mat, let your head hang. And then do that again. Come into your cow and up, tilt your pelvis out. And come into your cat. Press your hands into the mat, head hangs, and round your back. All right, one more time. Nice strong cow. Feel your tailbone as it turns out, arching your back. And then find your cat. Exhale. All right, back into your tabletop. Bring your knee into your nose, hold it here nice and strong. So you're rounding your back just like in cat, just like we were. And you're gonna hold it here, we crunch it in, and then we're gonna extend that leg all the way back, pushing out into your right heel, and then drop your toes and go for your calf muscle stretch here. So pushing your right heel back, and you can keep squishing and then just working those toes back if you need to. Make sure you feel it in your calf muscle on the right side. So really press it back. And then sliding right foot past your left foot. We're gonna let that right foot go as far as it wants to go. Look over your right shoulder for your right foot. Squeeze those oblique muscles on the left side of your body. All right. Let's slide it back to our calf muscle stretch. Take a breath here. And then come back into your tabletop. Great job, you guys. Bring that left knee up. Bring it into your nose. Squeeze it in tight. Really squeeze that in. Take a breath here. Okay, don't hold your breath. And then we're gonna press it all the way out. Push that left leg out. Toes turned down, nice and strong. Press that left heel out. And then drop your left toes to your mat. Go for your calf muscle stretch. And you're pushing back. Again, make sure you're feeling on that left side. If you don't, push your foot back forward. Press that left heel back. We'll take one more breath. And then we're gonna slide that left foot past the right foot. Let it go as far as it wants. Get that nice squeeze into your oblique muscles on the right side of your body as you look over your right shoulder. And squeeze. Nice job, you guys. Let's slide it back, and we'll go back into our calf muscle stretch. And we'll take a breath here, really press it back. All right, to our tabletop, move your hands in front. Make some room, we're gonna take some big circles with our hips. Let's take three or four. So important to just really take your time here. Maybe close your eyes. There's a lot of intention here. 
really pressing it out. And all different sides of those hips. So take your time. Do not move quickly here. This will be our last one on this side. And then we'll reverse. There you go, you guys. Take your time. Breathe through it. This is our last one. All right. Let's bring it back into center. So come back into your tabletop. And we're going to go into our first downward facing dog of the day. So tucking your toes, lifting those knees off the mat. Coming into that wonderful downward facing dog. Just taking a moment here to enjoy your down dog. Checking your alignment, checking your hands, fingers are spread wide. You're pressing the palms of the hands into the mat and the pads under your knuckles into the mat. Okay, so nice and strong there. Your food, feet are rooted, all four corners of your feet. If you can get your heels down, that's great. If not, just go for that, see what you feel. You're down into the pinky toes, the big toes. Let's take a breath here in our downward facing dog. And then deeply bending that right knee as far as you can towards the mat. Press that left heel in. And we'll switch. So deeply bend that left knee. Press that right heel in towards the mat. And bring it back into center. All right, nice job. Take your legs nice and wide here. We're going to walk our hands to our feet. And we're going to take right hand under the nose, the left arm nice and high. Nice big stretch up, look up towards your left thumb. And we'll switch left hand down, right arm nice big stretch up, look up towards that thumb. Really reach, palm facing away. And bring it back into center, both hands on the mat. So with your wrist under your shoulders, we're going to take a nice deep bend of your left knee, stretch out the right side. So getting those inner groin muscles on the right side here. And then we'll come center and we'll go the other way. Bend that right knee, stretch out the left side. Way to go, friends. Bring it back into center. So we're going to bend the arms, drop the body down, and then push it away. And then do that again. So this time bend the knees too, but bend the knees and the arms. So we'll come down low and then press it away, like you're pushing the ground away. Do it one more time. Bend the knees and the arms, press it all the way. And this time, really keep pushing away, draw the body all the way up. You're gonna come up all the way with the breath. So take a big breath up, inhale, and exhale down. And it feels, if it feels better for your knees to turn your toes out, you can do that. So bring it up, and exhale down. Breathe it up. Take it down. Take it all the way up. Hold it here. We're going to stretch down that right leg. So reach down that right leg. Opposite arm comes over. Look up under that arm. And then we'll go the other way. Left hand reaches down the left leg. Right arm reaches over. Look up under that arm. And we'll do it one more time. Reach down the right leg, left arm over, nice long stretch, look up. And switch sides. Left hand down that left arm, right arm stretches over, nice and long. Bring it back into center. Interlace your fingers behind your back. So we want our toes pointed forward here. Bend your knees. We're going to go for a nice deep shoulder stretch. So arms come all the way over, look back. Squeeze shoulder blades together if you want. Take a breath. Let it go. With that exhale, release your hands to the mat. We're going to walk it all the way back forward. Come back into your downward facing dog. Bring your feet in for your downward facing dog. And we'll just gently walk it out here, left and right, and left and right. All right, there you go, you guys. Take a breath. And let's push into your left foot. Take your right leg high. Point your right toes. Flex your foot. Point and 
flex, and point, and flex. One more time, point, and flex. Let's bring that right foot to your right hand for a runner's lunge. Okay, so we're gonna just move forward and back here. You can go into a modified pyramid as you come back if you want to, really lengthening that front leg. Okay, we'll take a couple more here. And then bring it back into your runner's lunge. Drop your left knee down. Come on up, hands to your right thigh. Let's gently press forward here. So leaning in, stretching out the left side. The left hip flexor is lean forward as far as you want here. Take a breath. And let it go. Drop your hands to the mat, tuck your left toes, and right leg comes back, downward facing dog, left leg high. Point and flex your left foot. Point and flex, point and flex. Make sure to stay lifted here. Keep pressing the ground away. Okay, let's point and flex one more time. And then we're gonna bring that left foot forward to your left hand, your runner's lunge. And again, really any movement that works here for you, Sometimes it's nice just to try to go for that pyramid where you lengthen that front leg. Let's see what feels appropriate for you as you breathe. We'll take one or two more here. And then back to runner's lunge, right knee down, bring your body up and lean forward into that left leg. So stretching out that right side. Keeping your shoulders dropped here, maintaining your breath. There we go, you guys. Let's focus on that nice long stretch on the right side. We'll take one more breath. All right, release your hands to the mat, take your right toes, and bring your left leg back to your downward facing dog. All right, heel lifters. Let's take those heels high and then drop your heels down with your exhale. Do it again. Inhale high, stretch out your feet, drop down with your exhale. Walk your feet forward. Come to your hands. Come into a nice little forward fold. We're going to take a little swish to the left and a little swish to the right. Bring it back to the left and over to the right. And we'll come back into center. So with your hands on the ground, or your lower legs, push it away. Rise up strong. Take a big deep breath. Inhale. Take your arms all the way up. Hands together in prayer. And then drop it down with your exhale. And we'll do that one more time. Big deep breath up. Inhale. Hands together in prayer. Turn for a back bend here as we exhale. So lifting your heart space. Pushing your hips a little bit forward, and then we'll bring it back into center. We're gonna go for warrior one here. So release the arms, the left leg back. Warrior one. All right. So nice and strong, really bending that front knee, pressing into the outer edge of your heel on your back foot. And so that back leg is nice and strong. Let's twist over to the right. So arms out, look right, thumbs up. Great job, come back to center. Let's go to the left. Twist left, look left, arms out, thumbs up. Bring it back into center. We'll do that one more time. Let's twist to the right. Arms out, thumbs up, great job. Back into center and twist to the left. And bring it back into center, back to warrior one. Hands to the mat. Right leg comes back, downward facing dog. All right, so we're gonna go through our flow. So find your plank. Today, if you want to, we're gonna lower down onto the forearms. Okay, so you're on a forearm plank. So if you need to move your toes back, just kind of inch them back a little bit, and then we'll drop down. And this is all optional. You can just do our regular flow if you want to. So. But if you're here with your forearms down, we're going to come down up into our six pose. 
And then draw your hands back towards your rib cage, tucking your toes, pressing the ground away from your downward facing dog. Okay, so a little variation on our flow today. You can take it or not take it. It's really up to you. So you're back in the downward facing dog. Take a breath. And then we're going to lift the heels high and drop the heels down with your exhale. Inhale, lift the heels high, draw the belly in, drop the heels down with the exhale. Gently walk your feet forward to your hands. Turn into a nice little forward fold. A little swish over to the left. I always like to call this our finger painting for God. Swish to the right, swish to the left. Swish to the right, bring your hands back to center. And we're gonna really push that ground away and slowly rise up. Big breath all the way up, inhale. Hands together in prayer, drop it down, exhale. Do that one more time here. Inhale all the way up, hands together in prayer with your exhale, take it back. So leaning back through back bend, opening up the chest. And just pushing the hips gently forward. So bring it back into center. We're gonna separate the hands, right leg comes back, warrior one. And here we are, let those shoulders relax, back in that wonderful warrior one. Push into the back foot. And we want this nice and strong. We talked about that last time. Don't let this cave in. You push into the outer edge and the heel of the back foot. It helps to really strengthen this back leg and make it not so collapsed. Okay, so we want that nice and strong. Okay, let's twist to the left. Arms out, thumbs up. Drop back up to center, twist to the right, arms out, thumbs up. You guys are doing great. Let's bring it back into center and we'll do that again. Twist left, thumbs up, back to center, twist to the right. All right, let's go back to that wonderful warrior one. Sink into your pose, nice and strong. Hands come to the mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. All right, so again, you can take your regular flow, or if you want to go through these variations with me, you can. So coming to plank and then lower your forearms. Okay, you might need to squish your toes back there a little bit. So forearms are down, coming into your sphinx pose, lowering the body, untucking your toes here for sphinx, taking the head up, and then drawing the hands back to your rib cage. Pressing the ground away, finding your downward facing dog. All right, nice job, you guys. Let's go ahead and pedal it out here. And the next time we go through that, we'll go through a little quicker. All right, so child's pose. So the reason I asked you guys to get a pillow today is just if you want it for your child's pose, just a really nice little extra push just to take under your head with the side of your face or head on your pillow. You can take your regular child's pose here if you don't have a pillow available. It's just a little nice extra if you have one around. So breathing in your child's pose. So again, God, God gets us through difficult times. It's a favorite word of God's. And again, Isaiah 43, 2 says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. So thinking about some times where God got us through stuff. When Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, God got him through that. When Peter was thrown in prison. When Jonah was in the belly of the whale, God got him through that. And when David was up against the lion, God definitely got him through that. When Lazarus 
was in a grave. God brought him out of the grave. And Paul was in shackles. God brought him out of those shackles. So God gets us through stuff. He'll get us through this too, right? Everything going on now. Let's take a couple more breaths in your child's pose. Are you going to come into your upward facing dog, lengthen all the way up, stretch out, press to the tops of your feet. Tuck your toes, look for your downward facing dog. All right, nice job, you guys. So we're going to go through that again. So let's lift our heels, stretch out your feet, drop your heels down with your exhale, and do it again. Lift your heels. The second time, we're going to go through a little faster as we move through our practice. Go ahead and walk it forward. In your forward fold, just take one swish to the left, one swish to the right, bring it back into center, and then press away, take the breath all the way up, inhale, take it down, exhale, and do it one more time, up, inhale, come into your back bend, bring it all the way back, slip those arms fall back, bring it back into center, warrior one. So left leg comes back. Warrior one position, twist to the right, arms out, thumbs up. Bring it back into center. Let's go the other way. Arms out, thumbs up. Bring it back into center. Back to warrior one. We'll do it again. Twist to the right, back to center, and twist to the left. And back to center. All right, hands to the mat. All right, like back, downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and take that flow. So you can take your regular flow, or you can come into your plank, lower down to your forearms. Dropping your belly down, coming into your sphinx pose, and then pulling your hands back, coming into your downward facing dog. All right, let's lift our heels. Stretch out those feet, inhale, exhale, drop them down. One more time, inhale, take them up. Exhale, drop them down. Walk your feet forward to your hands. Take one swish over to the left and one swish over to the right. Bring it back into center, rest it away. Take those arms all the way up with a breath. Inhale, hands together in prayer, drop it down, exhale. Inhale, take it up. Hands together in prayer, take it back. Back, back. Lovely, open up that chest. Bring it back into center. Release the hands, right leg back. Warrior one. Sink in nice and deep to your warrior one pose. We'll twist over to the left, arms out, thumbs up. Bring it back into center. Twist over to the right, arms out, thumbs up. You guys are doing great. Come back to warrior one. We'll do that one more time. Arms out, thumbs up. And center. And over to the other side, arms out, thumbs up. Great job. Bring it back into center. Hands to the mat. Left leg back. Downward facing dog. So again, take whatever flow you want, your regular flow, or if you want to. Find your plank and then lower down to your forearms. And then coming into your sphinx pose, untuck your toes, head up, draw your hands back, and press away the ground for your downward facing dog. All right, you guys, very nice. Take your feet outside of your mat. And we're gonna just jump in and out here 10 times. Your feet are outside your mat, so you can jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out. There's four, and five, and six. Keep going, seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. All right, way to go, you guys. So come back to downward facing dog, and we'll come into our child's pose. So again, if you have a pillow and you wanna just place your head on that pillow, and if you took your, whatever side you took last time, we'll switch to the other side this time. And just breathe and rest. It's good to get that heart rate up and then take it down, up and down. Thank you, your metabolism. So just breathing here in your child's pose. 
that gets us through things. Some more examples of God getting us through things. God got us through the Red Sea, got the Israelites through the Red Sea onto dry ground. He also got them through the wilderness. And I want to read this to you. It's Deuteronomy 29.5. Just love what it says here. It says, during the 40 years that I led you through the desert, through the desert, your clothes did not wear out, nor did the sandals on your feet. So we can kind of relate living in a desert and going through sort of a deserty time. God has a great record of getting his people through difficult things. So take heart. Take heart. Let's take a few more breaths here. There you go, you guys. Go ahead and come on up. You can set your pillow aside. We're going to go into Spider Cobra. So I usually just do Spider Cobra around Halloween, but we're going to do Spider Cobra in June. So here we go. Take your hands out to the sides. You're up on your fingertips. Your elbows are over your wrist. They start there and they're not going to end up there. So legs together, toes together. When you're ready, press in, press up. Draw that chest away from the ground. Maybe you bring your gaze up if that works from your neck. Drop your shoulders down. Take one more breath in. You can come up a little bit more. And then we'll release. Exhale. Take your body down. Arms to your side, side of your face to your mat. So just really let go here. Just really release. Just breathe. So we'll do one more breath. And chin to the mat. So let's do it a second time. Spine your cobra even stronger. Check your alignment. This is really good for strengthening your hands too. So you're up on those fingertips, elbows over your wrist, legs together, toes together, press in, press up. Draw that chest away from the ground. So think about widening the chest, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Keep breathing. Take one more breath in, press up maybe a little bit more, and then lower down. Other side of your face, bring your head to your mat. Let go of your release. And we'll take another breath or two here. Bring your chin to the mat and gently press up. All right, come to your tabletop. And we're just going to take some nice big yeses with our head just in case you've got any other kinks in your neck here you want to work out. So nice big yeses up and down. And then come into some nose, side to side. Just gently moving here, working into the neck. You can belly drawn up. We'll come back into center. And do some more yeses. It's good to end on a positive note, right? And then we'll bring it back into center. All right, way to go, you guys. Find your way all the way to your back. Very nice. All right, let's come into our lying pigeon. So your right knee is in your right hand, your foot is in your left hand. Draw that leg into your body till you get that nice stretch into the right side. And then gently move here into that right hip. When your left side is anchored down, you can flex your left foot to help with that. The neck is long.
take a few more. Bring it back in the center, release the foot, right knee over the left side of your body, find your twist. Right arm out, lift to your right hand. Left hand to your right leg if you want. Draw the belly in. Stay with your breath, your little breaths. Right, let's gently unwind. Point me out to the right side, opening up the right hip. And then keep that left side anchor down. Really feel that nice stretch across your pelvis from the left side all the way over to the right side to that right hip. And that nice hip opener. And we'll take a few breaths here. Continue to go, you guys. Bring that right knee in. And gently extend your right leg out to the mat, left leg in, bend your left knee. Draw your left foot into your body. Now you get that wonderful angle that works really good on that left side and then get some movement. And it feels appropriate. Keep your neck long, keep your chin up, stay with your breath. Take a few more here. And then gently release. Release that left foot. Because if you're left knee over the right side of your body, you need to twist. So nice. Left arm out, lift your left hand. And then you can take that right hand to your left side, draw the belly in. Continue to breathe, soften your. Okay, let's gently release. Left knee out to the left side. Keep that right side anchor down. Bring your hip opener on the left side. Again, feeling that nice stretch all the way across the pelvis. All the way to that left hip. Let's take two or three breaths here. Okay, good, you guys. Bring your left knee in. Bring your right knee in. And just rock a little bit each way. Roll out your low back. So if this feels really good to you, just stay here. Or if you want to go to your happy base, keeping the arches of your feet, drawing the knees down. Gently moving when you're ready. Blazy is snoring away today. He loves the yoga. All right, Always remember, guys, it's your practice. Do whatever you want here. Do whatever feels right. Do whatever feels nice. Just make sure you're breathing. Maybe you close your eyes. Definitely put that big smile on your face. We need more smiling these days. God is still on the throne. He loves us. You're precious to him. Where you're at, take a few more. We'll come back in the center. And draw your knees into your chest, squeeze it in, exhale. Inhale, arms overhead, stretch back, point your toes, reach back. Lengthen your body, lengthen your spine. Let's exhale, knees in. Bring your hands behind your knees, your knees to your head, and your head to your knee. Really stretch back one more time. 
Point your toes, let's interlace our fingers, press the palms away. So really push those palms like you're trying to press into whatever's behind you. Point your toes, stretch that belly. Feel that nice deep stretch into your shoulders. We'll take one more breath in. And stretch a little bit more. And release. Exhale. Hands, knees in, hands behind your knees. Lift your head, head to your knees. Gently release. Walk your legs out. Arms to your sides. Palms up. Into your beautiful resting pose. And final pose here. Off at our favorite pose. We're going to take one big final cleansing breath. Breathing in. And letting go with your exhale. And then just continue to breathe softly. Allowing the body to truly release. And just like an onion we release in levels. And oh, I know, babe, since you have that pillow next to you, if you want to set it under your head, feel free to. A little extra push. I'm just feeling the breath in, feeling the breath out. Allowing yourself to relax more as you breathe out. And the toes and the feet relax. Noticing the arches of the feet, the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet. Just let them relax. Move that feeling up your legs, noticing your lower legs. Your lower left leg, your lower right leg. Let your calf muscles sink into the ground. All the way to the knees. And up the legs, noticing your left leg, noticing your right, noticing your thighs. Just acknowledge them and just let them relax. The hamstrings just sink into the ground. And your quadriceps relax. All of that up to your hips. Allow your pelvis, your hips, your tailbone, your glute muscles to relax. Just feel the heaviness of your pelvis. And then moving that into your low back, and your mid back, and your upper back. Release all the muscles in your back. And you notice your rib cage as it rests into the ground. And then we bring that around to the front side of the body, feeling the breath move through the belly and the chest, and allowing the belly and the chest to release. Taking that feeling up into your shoulders, allowing your shoulders to relax. And then noticing your upper arms, your upper left arm, your upper right arm. Maybe you notice your biceps, your triceps, just to let them relax. Notice your elbows. And your left arm and your right arm all the way down to the left wrist and the right wrist. And then just allowing the hands to relax. 
backs of the hands sinking into the ground. Opening up the fingers, maybe to play those fingers rest. Moving the fingertips. Draw your attention to your neck, your throat. Swallow if you want to. Let your neck relax, let your throat relax. Let into your jaw, your mouth, your tongue, and the heaviness of your jaw, and all the muscles around your mouth become very heavy. And taking that into your cheeks, let the cheeks relax. The muscles around the eyes relax. The forehead relax. And the softness around your eyes. Spread that feeling all the way up to the top of your head, down the back of the head, and around the head, letting the head rest. Just really relying on the breath here. Just letting that breath take over. Feeling the heaviness of the entire body, all your limbs, and your head. Just really focusing on your breath. And your thoughts to Jesus, our Heavenly Father, our sweet Holy Spirit, who get us through difficult times. Again, Isaiah 43, verse 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Let's take a moment here to reflect on this beautiful verse of how God gets us through difficult circumstances. Let's take a moment here and then we'll finish up with our prayer.
hands. Very nice. Let's gently wiggle our fingers and our toes. Maybe turn your head side to side, just gently bring back some movement. Then we'll, we'll roll over to our side. Gently come up to see the position. And we'll bow our heads together in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father God, Lord, we love you so much. And we just thank you for getting us through difficult situations. You know, you have done that in the past, and we see these wonderful examples out of your word, Daniel getting out of the lion's den. Jonah getting out of the belly of the whale and the Israelites and we're getting out of the wilderness. You get us through things, God. And so we know you get us through this as well. God, we are just so grateful how much you love us, you give us grace, you take care of us. And God, I just thank you for my beautiful students and I pray this practice has blessed them inside out, top to bottom, and that they feel renewed and refreshed, Lord, because of you. We're so thankful for the forgiveness of sins. You died on the cross for us that we have never had to earn love from you. You just give it to us freely. In the death, you give us grace freely. In the death and resurrection. I'm so thankful. I just thank you, God, for our great country, our great land. I pray that you bring healing. I pray for wisdom for our leaders, for our authorities. I pray that you would renew hope in the hearts of those that are hurting. That you would heal our land. It's in your very holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, you guys.